In the far northern plains, winter was not simply a season, but a constant threat. Temperatures could fall so low that human breath instantly froze in the air, and every step across the wind-beaten snow felt like walking against the edge of survival itself. For countless generations, Native American families faced winters that could last for many months, forcing them to find shelter that could protect them not just from cold, but from storms capable of erasing entire landscapes beneath snow. Above ground, the icy wind could steal heat faster than any fire could replace it, so survival required something more than a simple shelter. It required thinking beneath the surface of the earth itself. By digging downward, families created underground chambers that were naturally shielded from the brutal wind above turning frozen soil into a wall of protection thicker than any animal hide. Inside these handmade hollows, the very earth became insulation, trapping what little heat the family could produce and holding it close through the darkest nights. With the walls formed and the entrance secured, families could finally build a fire, their single most powerful defense against the deadly cold waiting just outside their underground door. Heat moved slowly through the space, warming the air closest to the ground first, while smoke collected above, guided through narrow openings carved with purpose and experience. As snow piled above the roof of the chamber, the world outside grew colder, but inside, warmth increased, sealed beneath layers of earth and ice. Here, families gathered close to the fire, wrapping themselves in heavy fur blankets, letting the underground quiet replace the roar of the wind above. With each passing night, the earth shelter became more than a place to survive. It became a place to live, to rest, and to wait for warmth to return to the world above. Careful ventilation kept the fire burning without filling the chamber with smoke, allowing families to breathe and sleep through long frozen nights beneath the surface. Wooden support beams placed carefully along the walls prevented collapse and turned loose soil into a structure strong enough to last an entire winter. As storms howled above, the underground shelter stayed quiet where earth and snow worked together as walls against the cold. Inside these hidden spaces, families cooked, repaired clothing, shared food, and turned survival into daily life. Even when storms blocked every path, the underground shelter allowed life to continue without facing the deadly cold outside. Food preservation was essential. Dried meat, fat, and berries stored in cool earth walls lasted for months, carrying families through the longest winter nights. Children learned slowly, watching elders manage fire, ventilation, and storage, preparing the next generation for seasons of cold that never forgave mistakes. Each underground chamber was built with intention. Where to sleep, where to store food, where the fire could burn safely through the coldest nights. Families spent entire winters below the surface, surviving storms strong enough to bury the land above until spring. When the storms finally passed, people emerged again, climbing toward light, stepping carefully into a world still frozen but slowly beginning to breathe. Even after returning to the surface, families kept their underground shelter ready, knowing winter storms could return without warning, pushing them once again back beneath the earth for protection. Wood, snow, earth, and fire, simple materials shaped by knowledge passed from generation to generation, creating a refuge strong enough to endure the coldest places on the continent. Long before modern technology, Native American families engineered underground homes that turned frozen earth into shelter, transforming survival into resilience and winter into something that could be endured. In a world defined by cold, these shelters reveal a deeper truth. Survival was not only about enduring winter, but about undi, restanding the land, shaping it, and living in harmony with the nature that surrounded every breath.